All right, everybody. Last day of uh, our fundraiser for mental health. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate everybody getting involved. Uh, you know, we started off with uh, a massive goal of $5 million. Um, and uh, I'll let you know in a second if we achieved it or not. Uh, but um, this week's been great. You know, I've gotten a lot of feedback, uh, you know, as far as people saying, you know, that they've had family members who, you know, have bipolar uh, schizophrenia, you know, all sorts of uh, diseases to people just have uh, anxiety issues and, you know, go gone through bouts of depression, you know, with different stages in their life with uh, different, you know, a death in the family or somebody close to them um, or just being in a, you know, mentally uh, in a in a dark, uh, bad place, you know. So, you know, uh, I hope this week helps. If anything, it's it's to be able to create uh, some kind of uh, action around uh, doing something to get help, right? And uh, stepping forward in some way to be able to reach out to a therapist, a doctor, uh, to see if you do need uh, medication, to see if you uh, want to just change your, uh, do some things in your lifestyle, you know, and the way that you eat, um, the exercise, uh, you know, if you decided you wanted to get into mindfulness practices such as meditation and yoga, um, you know, and any other thing that can help you. Or even like we talked about, just getting into a place where, you know, you're, you, you kind of get your thoughts and get to a peaceful place in your life. But, you know, um, mental health is, is, is more important than anything in your life, right? It's more important than um, money, for sure. Uh, uh, because your health is uh, obviously everything. So, um, so I just want to say thanks to all of the people who are participated throughout the week. You know, we had uh, Rose Nami Yunus and Patrick Canaway and Lama came in yesterday. Uh, the doctors that were, uh, you know, were fantastic as far as all the information that they provided us. Um, and uh, uh, as uh, we think about mental health, uh, as Guaranteed Rate and as a company, uh, what we decided to do is do, uh, instead of just talking about it, doing a fundraiser, creating awareness, uh, we decided to do something more, right? And uh, what we're going to do is uh, have one day a year where we're going to have a mental health day. So for any reason, any employee in guaranteed rate could decide to take the day off and you don't have to give a reason why. You could just say it's your mental health day, and, and that's it, and that's your day off, uh, and you're going to have that once a year. Uh, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to add one day a year uh, for uh, the ability for you to volunteer. You know, take the time, take the day off, um, and, you know, we'd like to have it where we're doing it in group sessions, right, where you're doing it within an office or a region or something uh, to uh, – you know, make a difference in the community, whatever it might be. Uh, but we'd like to know what you're doing to volunteer and, and how we're uh, how we're helping as an organization. So, uh, so those are two things that we're doing now. Um, and as everyone knows, our co number one core value is grow for good. And I'm a big believer in karma and and uh, you know the more good we do out there in the world, the more the things come back and. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm a firm believer. It's the reason why, you know, we're doing well as an organization. We continue to grow, you know, but uh, but we need to do more. As the Guaranteed Rate Foundation, um, you know, we haven't hit the goal yet, but we think we're going to be there uh, and actually be able to help out uh, uh, individual people in a time of need. And we think that uh, we are going to blow away what we've ever done in the past and doing two million dollars in direct uh, contributions to uh, specific individuals in need, uh, and that runs from uh, people who have uh, disabilities to uh, people who are going, uh, women who are going through uh, domestic violence situations to homeless to. Uh, you know, uh, illness to tragic deaths, you know, things like that, or just uh, overall uh, natural disasters and hardship, right? So, uh, you know, uh, we, we do everything uh, totally transparent as far as uh, in the Guarantee Rate Foundation. Uh, you can go to our website and you could see every single person that we're um, uh, 
um, helping out and where the money is going to each individual and what the story is uh, for those people. Uh, every donation that goes into the Guarantee Rate Foundation, every single penny goes to somebody in need, right? Uh, I was just talking to one of our big, big originators this morning and he was saying how he loves the Guaranteed Rate Foundation and that uh, in the past he's been, you know, he would give money to a foundation, he just doesn't know where that money's gonna go. Here it's totally transparent, every single penny um, that's donated goes to somebody in need and all the expenses are covered by Guaranteed Rate and Guaranteed Rate also uh, puts in a tre tremendous amount of money uh, into the foundation as well. So, you know, again, we're just getting started around the Grow for Good and, and we want to continue to keep um, striving to do more. Uh, and together as a unified group uh, within the Guaranteed Rate family, uh, you know, honestly, we could do anything, right? Uh, you know, and and uh, so I, I, I think we're ready <laughs> to talk about where we're at. Um, and then I'll tell you this. As of 15 minutes ago, we did not hit it, but 15 minutes ago, we went over the number and we have raised uh, $5,058,052, or $52. So absolutely uh, tremendous accomplishment. Uh, I wanna thank all of you who contributed. You know, we had, uh, our executives, people on the phone, you know, calling our vendors, <laughs> calling everybody. We were calling our loan officers, our regional managers, we were calling friends and family. I'm on uh, Facebook and Instagram and I'm seeing people posting uh, information about the fundraiser, getting the word out there. And then this morning, uh, Sean, uh, uh, Sean Panosian, who's our number one originator uh, in the company, and just a shout out to Sean, he closed $2 billion already year to date uh, in, in loans, uh, made the decision to put a video together and uh, a, a little note about getting behind uh, the mental health uh, uh, fundraiser. And the momentum started, you know, we had a number of incredibly generous um, uh, people and our originators jumped on and all of a sudden I kept I kept kill, telling Steve Moffat what's the number now what's the number now what's the number? he's like it's surging it keeps going and we weren't there up until just 15 minutes ago and um, super proud to say and uh, that that we accomplished it and we have three incredible charities uh, where this money is going towards and it's the uh, the wounded warrior Pro wounded warrior project um, and just as a reminder, you know, they're specifically going to help out veterans uh, who are struggling with uh, PTSD and have anxiety uh, issues. And uh, your donations are going to go uh, right to helping them. Uh, the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, uh, one of the key things that uh, our money is going to go towards is uh, this outreach program within college campuses around the country where they're gonna be proactive reaching out and just doing some kind of self-assessment uh, for the college student and asking them you know, if they're okay. Um, and then if the student says they're not, then they're gonna proactively do what they can to work with them, provide you know, assistance through counseling, therapists, different things like that. Uh, so it's a really fantastic program uh, that this money is going to go towards. And then the other one, uh, which I think is incredibly cool, and I'm excited to see uh, where this uh, nonprofit goes, uh, is Project Healthy Minds. And Project Healthy Minds is really, um, their concept is if you can uh, have the, you know, go on and grab your phone and order a car and have it delivered right to where you want and, and go somewhere else, and you could do it all electronically, why couldn't you do that? Uh, uh, in an app and help people talk about what symptoms they have and then where they can be directed uh, to getting help, you know, a therapist, a counselor, a doctor, a hospital, whatever it might be. So again, all three charities are fantastic. I, you know, I told the CEOs and directors, I said, you know, we haven't set out on a goal that, and this is the biggest goal that we've ever had. And we haven't set out on a goal that we haven't accomplished. And I'm telling you, we're going to do it. Right. And they're like, 5 million, really? And I'm like, we're doing it. We got the, we have the most gracious, 
um, employees and network uh, than any company out there. And uh, I knew it was going to happen. The power of belief, right? <laughs> really important, the power of belief. But thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Um, it's a fantastic Friday. And, uh, you know, I want all good karma and good stuff happening, you know, to all of you. Uh, and I appreciate everything you did. So uh, thank you so much. Um, and uh, have a great uh, rest of your day. Thanks, everybody.